up everyone welcome back if you're new here my name is jess and i wanted to do a little like summer to fall transitional get ready with me just switch it up because i've been doing a lot of vlogs lately so if you haven't checked out i just went to vermont and san diego vlogged it those are up if you want to check it out i will link them down below if you're interested i thought i would just do a little get ready with me so i'm gonna do some makeup my hair pick out a cute outfit so i'm just gonna start here's a little skin update i'm still doing the same adapalene gel and benzoyl peroxide at night so my acne treatment's been pretty consistent and right now my skin is looking pretty good pretty clear and i feel like my skin tone's starting to look a little more even again i did kind of break out a little bit a few weeks ago and i feel like now it's looking a little better but yeah so this is what we're starting with i'm very happy with how my skin has been looking. So I use the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I've been doing this for a while, this combination. I mix the shades 110 and 120, and I feel like it just gives me a nice match to my natural skin tone. I use the Matte and Poreless 110, and then I use the Dewy and Smooth 120. I don't know, I just feel like together that makes a good combination for my skin. And I'm not a professional. I'm not a makeup guru. This is just an average girl doing her little get ready with me for the day <laughs> and i also like to apply my foundation straight onto the beauty blender i just like to put it all in my beauty blender i should put my hair back for this so i just like to dot it on sorry if there's a lot of noise in the background the lawn is getting mowed outside so it's a little loud but i just like to dot it all over just to get a even, evenly dispersed. And then once I kind of have it like this, I just start patting it in to my skin. I would say this is like a medium coverage foundation. It does a pretty good job for the most part and it's definitely buildable. And I always like to make sure my beauty sponge is a bit damp. I usually clean it like right before I start applying my foundation just so that's a little damp and fresh. I feel like this actually looks a little light. I probably could have used a little more of the darker color, but when I go in with the bronzer, I feel like it warms it up a little bit and makes it match to my neck. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I also use two different shades. I use the shades 10 Fair and 11 Vanilla. 10 Fair is a little bit darker and that's what I use to cover up acne, blemishes, red marks. Most of the coverage I'm using the shade 10. The 11 Vanilla is pretty light, so I'll just use that to like highlight a little under my eyes, a little on the bridge of my nose. So I'm just gonna go in with those. I've been using these Maybelline Fit Me's for so long, like years, probably five or more years. Definitely college and not high school. I was using a lot of these products. Once I found something that worked for me, I just didn't want to switch it up, I feel. If you've watched other makeup videos I've done or get ready with me, it is a lot of the same products, sorry. <laughs> not switch it up so much, but it just works. I take the lighter shade and just put a little bit right under my eye, right on my nose. And I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge, just pat it in. I also like to drag it on my neck a little bit just so I don't have that foundation line. I'm very big on blending the neck jawline area because <laughs> I'm not trying to have a line. I'm just gonna put a little more of the concealer on under my nose. I get a lot of redness right under my nose. Okay, I think this is pretty good. I use the Maybelline Fit Me 110 powder. I just use this to basically set my eyelids so that they don't crease. I don't really prefer powder on my whole face because I think my skin is on the drier side and powder can just, you know, make it look a little drier, a little cakey just for my skin type. So I just use this on my eyelids as like a base eyeshadow color. I 
I like to keep it pretty simple on the eyes. Usually I use the Hoola Benefit bronzer. It's just like an overall bronzer for my face to contour my nose and just as a little warmth shade in the crease of my eyelids. But I recently picked up this Physicians Formula bronzer, which is a little more of a light, buttery kind of bronze color, a little more subtle. I think the Hoola bronzer is good for the summer. It's definitely a lot darker, I would say. So I think this one might actually be a little more subtle when I'm a little more fair toned right now. And so I'm gonna go in with this Physicians Formula just to warm up my face. I use Eco Tools brushes and they're actually pretty old. They work pretty good, affordable. I'm a big bronzer girl. I think if I were to pick three makeup items for the rest of my life, it would be bronzer, mascara, and concealer. So I'm just warming up my face. I like to put it basically all over my forehead. Cheekbones. And I like to get my neck a bit too because it just blends it all in. Looks a little more seamless. I'm just gonna take an e.l.f. blending eye brush with the Physicians Formula Bronzer. Put a little bit in the crease of my eyelid. I actually just like putting this kind of all over it just as like a very subtle eyeshadow color. I'm not a big eyeshadow person. So this is just really quick and easy. I also like to put a little bit on the lower lash line area. And I'm just gonna take an e.l.f. eye crease brush. I actually use this to contour my nose. Put a little bit right at the tip here. And I kind of go in a circular motion. I don't even know how I really learned how to do this. I've just been watching YouTube for so long. I want to say I watched like Gabby DiMartino, like one, maybe one of her videos. And I feel like that might have taught me how to contour my nose. I don't really remember. I've watched so many makeup videos on YouTube. And I'll blend it a bit so it doesn't look as harsh. And then I just like to take some and drag it down the bridge of my nose on each side. Also, I feel like when you put foundation on, you lose a bit of the dimension in your face. And I feel like the bronzer just adds that back in. So besides, you know, warming up my skin tone, it's just adding that dimension back to my face so I don't look so flat faced. Sometimes I'll put a little under my lip and right in my cupid's bow. But sometimes I'll take my beauty blender and just pat a little bit. I also like to use some highlighter at the Elate Cosmetics. This is an eyeshadow, like a single color. And it just came in this package and I just left it in here. So this is the color Lumen. Lumen. And it's a nice white, shimmery-ish color. One of my Ego Tools little eyeshadow brushes. I just put a really small amount on. I put a little bit on the tip of my nose and the bridge. on my eyelid, the center of my lid, just to add a little oomph to my look. I also like to highlight under my brow bone. And then I use an e.l.f. powder brush and I just put a little bit of highlighter on my cheekbones. I don't like to go too crazy, depends on my mood for the day. And I don't wear makeup every day, I only wear makeup usually on the weekends, maybe like two days a week. So when I do, I definitely put a little more like time and effort into it. Just have fun with it. For eyebrows, I take the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. I believe I use blonde shade. Yes, the blonde shade. I used to use the light brown, but I feel like since I do get balayage and highlights in my hair, sometimes my eyebrows can look a little too dark. My hair is naturally like a dirty blonde color. So you can almost like see where my roots are growing back in. I just like to add more to the front here. Lightly fill in the front. And then I'll add a little bit throughout the rest of the brow. And I just take the spoolie on the other side and blend it out. And I'll take my finger and just rub a little bit on it so it doesn't look too harsh. So it's really not that much of a difference from the natural brow, but definitely just a little bit more defined and filled in in the front there. So it looks a little, looks a little dark right now when I don't have any eye makeup on, but 
all comes together. So I'm going to start doing my eye makeup now. I use the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is a liquid black liner. This is a pretty cheap. It's like a couple bucks. I get it at Harman's, but the problem is like sometimes this breaks. So right now mine's are kind of broken, but I still make it work. I just like how I feel like with this type of liquid liner brush, I have a lot of control. I've tried using felt tip ones and it's fine, but I just have more control with this flimsy liquid brush. I started using this when I was in high school, so I've just gotten accustomed to it. I like to keep it very thin on my lash line and just do a subtle little wing. That's like a rough idea of how I kind of do that. I do drag it all the way in, but it's very thin. And lately what I've been liking to do is smoke it out, just make it look a little more subtle with this LA Cosmetics eye color. This is in the color Stillness. It's like a pure black eyeshadow and just came as a little single like this. I have this Eco Tools brush. It's just a, I think it's actually an eyeliner brush. And I'll just put a little bit of the black eyeshadow on this brush. And I just kind of go over the wing to make a little a little more smoky. So that's how I do the eyeliner. And for mascara, I'm using the Lunin Astro Stratosphere Mascara. Got this as a free sample at Blue Mercury. And I bought some skincare products, or I think I got it as like a birthday gift. And it works pretty good. I'm trying not to get my mascara all over my eyelid, but if I do that, I just take a Q-tip, wipe it off. I just took a Q-tip and just got some of the foundation off my lips and just a little mascara under my eyes. I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera and then come back. So I just went and did the other eye. It's definitely hard to get it symmetrical, but I really try to line it up from the end of my eye to the tip of my eyebrow, essentially. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of the Positions Formula bronzer and just put a little bit more under my eye. And lastly for lips, I use the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in shade 130 Dusty Rose. This is not too far from a natural lip color. Lightly overline the bottom lip and I usually the top one, I might just overline a little where the cupid's bow is. So that's usually how I like to do the lips. I kind of had to go too crazy, but I definitely like overline a little on my bottom and then straighten out the cupid's bow a little bit. And I just like to finish off with a little lip gloss. I use the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Berry. Uh, does anyone else keep things in packaging? I've had this for so long and I just keep it in the box. It's like starting to get kind of destroyed. That's it for my makeup. Just a bronzy, glowy, winged liner look, I guess. Okay, so now that I'm done with the makeup, I'm working with day two hair, I think. I don't even remember. I think I washed it two days ago or yesterday. But I'm definitely gonna do something with this. Just gonna brush through my hair. I naturally like to wear my hair on a side part. I'm just gonna fix my part. I've tried the middle part and I feel like a side part just suits me better. So I usually just stick to the side part. I think I'm just gonna curl my hair and put some loose curls and waves in it. I use the Foxy Bay curling wands. I bought this at Marshalls last year. Works pretty good. I think it's probably the one inch barrel. Came with this glove, so I'm actually gonna wear it because I burned my hands or like fingertips a little too much. 
I'm just gonna flip this over for now so I can work one layer at a time, but I like to do this pretty quick and just take relatively larger sections and I just wrap it around and hold it for five to eight seconds, I would say. And I like to hold it for a few seconds and then just let it drop and then I just kind of leave it there and I'll brush it out at the end. So I'm just gonna do this to my whole head. Once I have all the curls, I'm just gonna brush through it. Just make it look a little more subtle. Makeup and hair is done. I'm gonna just pick out a little outfit and that will be it for the get ready with me. I just put together a little outfit. It's still pretty hot here in New Jersey. It's 79 degrees today. So I'm gonna wear some shorts, but I thought I would throw in some boots just to give it more of a fall, kind of summer to fall transitional feel. I have this black shirt. It's actually a long sleeve, but I rolled them up a little. This is a Princess Polly top, but I bought it used on Poshmark. I don't know how old the style is, but it's just a basic black long sleeve crop top. Shorts are Abercrombie Curve Love 4 inch Mom shorts, bought these on Poshmark as well. I buy most of my clothes used on Poshmark, thrifting, whatever it may be. Just a classic pair of high-waisted denim shorts. These are Steve Madden combat boots. I got these last year, a little over a year ago. And they're just your basic black leather combat boots. I feel like this is an outfit really composed of a lot of basic wardrobe pieces. I added a little bit of jewelry. I got a lot of this stuff on Etsy. Here's just another look at the outfit. That's everything for the get ready with me. Hope you all enjoyed this little video. I was told I would switch it out from the vlogs, but stay tuned and subscribe for more vlogs. I do a lot of New Jersey vlogs, and if I travel, I always vlog that as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video.